Good day people and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you a small introduction into C Sharp. Now I started learning C Sharp back at the end of November 2001 and well, well, I am where I am today. So what do you need to know as a beginner? Well, if you're going to start coding something in C Sharp, you've got to know your flow. I think that's the main thing I would look at. Know that like a recipe in a cookbook, you need to know, I want to do this, 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 I want to do this. It doesn't matter how you know it or how you word that. As long as you understand your flow, that's all that matters. When I made a project adding mod commands, I wanted to check the input that had been given. Check if the command existed. If it existed, then say you can't do that. If it didn't exist, I want to save the next bit of input under the global variable and then tell then output that, that that that's been saved and that on my flow so it don't matter that if you didn't you didn't understand what i just said because i understood what i said and i coded it and that's that that is how you start when you're in your head that's how you start and then all you gotta do is translate that code into into c sharp and I know that's not as easy as it sounds, but it, it's, the, it's a starting point. Once you can write down what you want to do on pen and paper or whatever, you're at a point. The next thing to know when, when learning is look at other bits of code. Now, you may look at a big bit of code and go, I have no idea what that, that means. But you don't need to know what it all means. Tell me what you do know. Tell me what you see straight away what it means. So if we look at this bit of code, tell me what you do see. Now, straight off the bat, you could probably see that points, points, new points equals points plus a thousand. So you know that, that that's what you see straight away. So now um, we we can, you could probably see we're, we're doing a check here. You could probably see we're doing a random here. So there's three things that you can see. Now you don't need to know how how other bits work or that. You can see something, and that that's the key. So when you see, well, and now I know how to do this or do that. That is a starting point. And what we'll do is throughout these videos going forward, we'll tell I will tell you how to do other bits of skills. So. In the in lesson one, we learn what this is. We know we learn how to pull an argument in. So this is literally pulling a username in. We learn that. We learn how to do that, and we learn how to pull in different arguments. You know, files, num numbers, doubles with decimals and stuff like that. We learn all that in the next video. So this is just an introduction. Um, I hope again, don't take this too much. This is just. A set thing this is just how how code works remember you can have a flow remember that when you're looking at other bits good don't look at what you don't know look at what you do know and work from there because that is how you'll learn so that's going to wrap up this short introduction I hope you've enjoyed it and until next time until next time I'll see you later